Hello, uh, my name is Tristan Nettles. I'm providing the answers to a series of questions provided to me by from a South African media organization. Today is March 10th, 2022. Um, before I start, I just like to make plain that I am not uh, a diplomat, a politician, a saint, an actor, or otherwise genuinely practiced at doing what it is that I'm now beginning to do. So I'm going to read the questions and then I'll provide the answers out. Question one, when is Ashley said to appear in court and when did you last have contact with her? Was it in the form of letters or visits? Ashley's not due to appear in court. From what I understand, the title appeal process involves a closed tribunal with a series of panel of judges who decide on the case. A verdict is announced. That verdict is passed down to the prisoner inside of the prison. Um, so as far as I know, Ashley will just one day be provided the answer as to whether or not she will spend her life in a Thai prison or uh, justly be allowed her freedom. I last had contact, actual contact with Ashley on December 16th. On December 16th, that was the last time I was able to speak with her via video. I did receive a series of three heartbreaking letters um, spread over the second half of February, uh, January and the first part of February, uh, which detailed her present circumstances. Question number two. What is the current state Ashley is in according to your last conversations with her? The last phone call we had, Ashley was very distraught and crying. <laughs> it wasn't much of a conversation really. I just listened to her and told her I was going to keep doing everything I can. And the letters were no better. I found out she's sick. She's missed multiple periods in a row. She doesn't have room to lie down. She had no money for over a month because the South African embassy in Durko, they sent me an email saying that after Ashley was moved, she was not able to receive funds the same way and that I had to go through Durko. And so then I attempted repeatedly to go through Durko and I was met with only silence. So uh, I was just able to start getting her money at give so that she can have the bare uh, necessities. You know, she didn't even have pads and it's actually Thai law, you can look it up, that um, female prisoners are supposed to be given a menstruation pads and she didn't even have that. She was sick from the food and the water. And she said that she doesn't have, uh, she doesn't have any friends. And there's no one to speak any English with. And there's no books. She said there was three books. And they said that she can't have books or letters. Well, now she can have letters because I made the website. But before I made the website and they took her away from Koh Samui, said she could have no letters, no books, and two phone calls for 10 minutes each a year for the rest of her life. So she's not well. <laughs> she's not. Uh, she's been in for a long time. She's, uh, she's not doing well. Question three. How can people support Ashley? Well, um, there's a GoFundMe set up now. And uh, the funds that go into that GoFundMe are basically being set aside for a possible compromise solution being reached, which is all too common inside of Thailand. Most other people would refer to it by a bribe, but um, 
it's a compromise. And so the money that's going into the GoFundMe is going to be held back and used in reserve for that. Any leftover funds that are inside of the GoFundMe once Ashley is released will be given to her so that she has she has something to start to start her life with. There's another um, donation fund for international and for people that are not able to use uh, GoFundMe. And that is a Ethereum wallet address, which will be provided. And so if you're not able to donate using the GoFundMe, then you can um, donate directly Ethereum. And then the Ethereum account is used monthly to provide for Ashley's uh, general upkeep. And if there is anything in there after she's released, then once again, that will go to her as well so that she can um, try to, to make up for all this lost time. Also, uh, people can reach out to media, uh, religious groups, NGOs, human watch organizations, celebrities, politicians, uh, and just ask for them to report, update, mediate, pressure, uh, just anything which they or you or collective can, can do to help, um, you know, and lastly, you can share. Every single individual has the capacity to share uh, what they hear, what they see in the world with their fellow humans. And the more people that find out, I feel quite sure that um, this will finally come to an end because when people are confronted with something that's just not right, for example, the, the current uh, war in Ukraine, you know, when it's so clear that one side is in the wrong and one side is, is not, it, you know, you see the overwhelming support that's generated around the world. And I believe that that same sort of situation, although to a much smaller to microcosm, but that same situation would come into effect with Ashley. Um, it's just a matter of, of getting enough people to know. And so by sharing, uh, you are directly contributing uh, to her nightmare, finally getting out to the world so that it can end um question four we haven't heard back from our legal representatives i am legal and our emails to durko are left unanswered <laughs> you have any latest information from her in the, her next appeal um I don't know anything about CM Legal. Uh, if CM Legal is involved, that's at the bequest of Ashley's mother. And to me, uh, my knowledge, that would be the first time that her family has been involved in the legal sphere, um, which I'm happy, better late than never, but I don't have any information about that. So far as I'm concerned, Ashley's appeal has been filed. It was put together and filed by Lizelle Martin. And it's Lizelle Martin who continues to work tirelessly day after day to formulate a coalition of NGOs, individuals, organizations, and motivated, uh, again, people who are getting actively involved and engaged in bringing, again, uh, Ashley's plight to the world and applying the uh, pressure into the proper channels where decisions can be made that would positively affect the outcome. So, uh, you know, I would advise you to uh, correspond, communicate with uh, Lizelle Martin, whose information has been provided on the website and will be provided to you. And uh, she will be able to provide you with those updates. So far as I know, um, the appeal is ongoing and could be uh, decided as soon as late April. And so that's why it's really paramount that maximum uh, pressure and awareness is raised during this period so that it increases the likelihood that she will be able to receive justice uh, after so long without. Number five. In regards to the leaked documents, the message was allegedly between two people living, I think you mean working in your company. Why was it never released in the first place or is it part of an ongoing investigation? Yeah, I, I think you're talking about the, the, the malicious and predatory screenshots that were released by uh, Michael Greenberg who um, was paid $3,500 to get on a plane to go and get Ashley out of jail on bail, and he didn't do so. And then he and his associate, Tiranan Chuachai, forged a document 
um, purported to be from the Thai provincial court requesting for a 2 million baht cash bail plus their fee be delivered to the courthouse in order for Ashley to be given uh, given uh, her liberty on, on bail. And uh, Mike Green and his associate, they pushed through this uh, fabricated document, despite the fact that the arrest report clearly stated that uh, bail was not recommended at that time. And so Mike Green with TRNN and another person, Chaos, they uh, tried and failed for the bail on the lower levels and the mid levels of the court, all but preventing Ashley from having any chance from that point on of getting out on bail. And they did this from sheer incompetence and greed uh, for them to get more money than they already had been paid. And just from not even reading the most basic document that you would read when you receive a client, which would be the actual arrest report. It's just uh, unbelievable. And so then, uh, obviously, Mike Green and I, we had a, a very acrimonious and bitter falling out after that occurrence. Um, when it's clear that he was, he had not uh, helped Ashley would at all. He had only hurt and hindered her. And then I come to find out that he was involved in a, uh, around the same time a murder for um, a kidnapping and murder for hire plot, which was on the, the newspapers and the New York Post and all this stuff. And so anyway, um, you know, I just felt it worthwhile to share that you know, with the world. And so I did, um, I went public with Michael Greenberg, the Israeli uh, private detective. And I, uh, I, I, I showed all that. And then Mike's response, apparently I haven't spoken to him, but his response was to disseminate um, erroneous, fallacious and predatory screenshots from, I don't know who, um, in an attempt to extort me to remove what I had posted about him online. So again, you know, Michael Greenberg has just proven at every point in turn that he is exactly the monster which I had painted him to be. Um, so, you know, I really have nothing else to say about Michael Greenberg, except that, uh, you know, he's a proven liar. He's a proven criminal. And so I have, uh, you know, I mean, I would pay him or what he says with as much mind as I would Vladimir Putin. So number six, uh, who is managing the website and the free Ashley site? Uh, I am. I taught myself how to code. I, I, uh, I, I didn't intend to do this as quick as I did. I wanted to wait a few more months. I had more plans for, for this. But when the South African embassy, once again, every single time they fail, it's really a reprehensible organization that you have down there staffed by spirals bureaucrats who absolutely do not intercede on behalf of their own citizens. Uh, really shameful stuff that I hope you and other citizens will um, demand a change to because uh, really it's, it's just flabbergastingly awful, but nevertheless, those individuals there have, have provided no help. And so when Ashley was taken from Koh Samui, where she was teaching yoga, she did get 10 books a month. She did get letters, she did get phone calls. She did have, uh, you know, for a Thai prisoner, a decent existence. When they took her to the new prison, and then they told me after she was in 28 days of isolation, 28 days in a row, 28 days in a row of isolation. I've only done 11, 28 days. Then they told me that she could no longer get books or letters, and uh, she'd only get two phone calls a year uh, for 10 minutes each for the rest of her life. So they sort of put me in the situation where you know I, I had to, to act. So I cobbled together this website, which is more than enough to show clearly that there is some outrageous stuff going on, okay? And uh, it has so far proved to be the catalyst to activate a reaction, which I intend to make cover the earth. Um, and, and so that Ashley's story is known and that she will finally be allowed the freedom which she should have been granted from day, 
day one, maybe day two. I mean, really, the sergeant major, he was in given bail less than 17 hours after forcibly penetrating. He raped a young 21-year-old Burmese woman who is forever damaged, forever flawed by that violent, reprehensible act by the very man whose custody she was in, the care he was in, who, by the way, was a sergeant major. So, of course, knew the laws, not like some girl from South Africa who didn't know that if she was signing on a package that didn't belong to her, that she could get a death sentence for it. You know, this sergeant major, he knew what the law was. And yet, despite being on video raping a woman, he was out on bail less than 24 hours later for 400,000 baht. Ashley West Tyson was denied bail at 2 million baht and given a death sentence, commuted to life in prison. I'm not making this up. And so, you know, I mean, it just becomes what the hell, you know? I mean, just really, it's, it's like a, a Russia Ukraine thing, you know? There's really two clear sides. So, what else are we on? Um, yeah, who's managing the website? Yeah, I managed the website. <laughs> There's a lot more coming down the pipeline. Again, I, I had to start before I was ready, but this is only the first salvo. I will not rest until Ashley is known globally, and the people that are responsible for this monstrosity are also known globally as well. And I intend to make sure that they are also held uh, to account directly, regardless of how many years it takes me to reach the position in which I'm able to hold them. Question seven, Bangkok Post says I was in Ukraine. My LinkedIn shows I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, blah, blah, blah. Can you confirm if I'm in any, either of these countries? Uh, yeah, a little thing about the Bangkok Post. Um, the reporter's name is Anucha Heroenko. I've been in contact with him pretty early on. I've been sending him lots of evidence, picture evidence, indisputable irrefutable evidence when she is uh, completely covered up and ignored you know um, for example on his most recent article that he did a propaganda piece where he labeled ashley as a drug convict and said that she had given a confession he did not mention that that confession once again was garnered in an undisclosed location with over a dozen male officers surrounding ashley no lawyer no interpreter and then she was forced to sign documents that were written in thai that they told her was just her admitting that it wasn't her and then later that was used as her confession i mean and, and these grown men did this to this girl it's just it really boils the blood it really boils the blood and so anucha you know he writes that ashley's teaching yoga and ashley's happy but actually ashley lives in a cell with 67 other women and one told it and she's sick and has missed multiple periods and doesn't even have pads, which once again is Thai law to be provided to female prisoners. Me too, I really women, women's rights. I'm not sure where you are in this fight, but I hope in the next few months we'll start hearing from you. Um, but nevertheless, uh, Anucha has refused to do anything except carry water for the propagandist government, which he is culpable and accountable to. He refuses to do anything except report what the government line is, which has and continues to be thoroughly disfounded. And so Anucha is not a journalist. Anucha is a propagandist who does not do what his profession dictates, which is reports on the truth. OK, so Anucha, uh, you are a coward, sir, and I uh, have only negative things to say to your person and the failure which you continue to allow not only to your profession and those people who count on you to provide truth especially in these times but to an individual who your reporting uh, directly admonishes and actually makes appear to be um anything other than innocent or the scapegoat of a terrible cover-up which you continue to willfully ignore so great job, Bangkok Post and Anucha. You're doing God's work. Great job, buddy. I'm sure Russian TV has a couple spots for you if you don't have, uh, you know, anything working out in Thailand. Uh, let's see here. Next question is question eight. It says, uh, what is your connection with Ashley's parents and Ashley's parents with her? Uh, I've had contact with her father. Look, I'll say this, her father, uh, he loves her and he's a good man and he has a good heart. 
we have drastically different opinions and strategies about how to help Ashley. His strategy is wait and hope. My strategy is uh, fight and struggle. And so we just are on different sides of the spectrum. But it's very disappointing um, that so often and so many times uh, when his daughter has needed him most, that he has been unwilling or unable to step up to the plate. Most recently uh, would be when I attempted to make him the receiver of Ashley's donations upon the site's first release. When millions of people visited it, he was unwilling to do so. Um, due to the lambasting of Ashley's mother, who was cowed him. Um, the same would be said about the brother. Unfortunately, Ashley always painted him to be her superhero, and yet he has also uh, not lifted a finger and should be absolutely ashamed for refusing to help his sister in her greatest time of need. Really abject misery. She lives in a crowded Thai prison cell, and he didn't want to be involved in the donation either. And as far as Ashley's mother... Ashley's mother would be best described as the wicked stepmother from all of the fairy tales that you remember from growing up. She's not the stepmother. She's actually the mother, but you would not believe it, by the way. She's acted um, both before and uh, during and presently, um, even before Ashley was, you know, uh, ever in any trouble. Um, every time she would talk to her mother, there would be... Uh, it was not an enjoyable conversation and Ashley would be emotionally damaged by uh, her mother's abuse, which is well documented. Uh, Lizelle Martin has been pushed away by the verbal abuse by Ashley's mother. I have multiple emails from um, different journalists who have told me of the voracious and vitriolic abuse, which has been given to them for nothing else than asking questions in order to try and help her daughter. I mean, most recently there was like 250 people around the world that said hashtag and picture the free Ashley and she didn't like the hashtag and so she, she demanded that they not be used. And as these people, such as her father and her brother, were you know not allowed to do the donation and then she said that she would do the donation, two and a half weeks later there was still no donation. You know, I mean, she just Just uh, a really zealous, uh, religiously indoctrinated, uh, really detrimental person to her daughter, Ashley's mother. Um, Ashley's mother has been one of the biggest impediments. And in fact, um, I was told I was told that Ashley's mother, Ashley's mother had said that she was sending money to Ashley via Durko. Okay. But then when I received those heartbreaking letters from Ashley, I found out she didn't even have toiletries because she had no money because no one was sending her money. So, you know, her mother is a, unfortunately a liar. Her mother is a very dark hearted, mean spirited, bitter, acrimonious woman, woman who has acted as though she does not want Ashley to be freed from prison. And in fact, when Ashley was first in prison, she wanted her to stay there. All is easily verifiable. So Ashley, unfortunately, has not been blessed <laughs> in, that, in that regard. And, uh, I hope that you and others and other people around, um, please direct your efforts through her father, um, though he is a very docile individual, um, he does truly, truly care. And he does want um, to help. I think he just lacks whatever he needs to, to get that in. But I'm sure if, if people, you know, like you all watching this, and you started reaching out and, and encouraging him and telling him that you support him and that you would help support his daughter, I'm sure that that added courage would be uh, more than enough to get him over whatever humps may be needed. But uh, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't much speak to her parents. I don't speak to her mother at all, nor do I ever have any desire or intent to. Number nine, do you think there's any way a media outlet is allowed to visit her? I think that we have robots on Mars, so I think it's kind of a, it's a ridiculous question. It's a question, I suppose it's not so ridiculous if you're an indoctrinated person who has allowed yourself to fall into the fallacious belief that you require other people or governments or entities to accomplish great things within this world. 
I mean, history has shown us example after example of individuals not only changing the world, but crafting it for eons. And so I think that for a media organization to be allowed to visit an innocent woman in prison who's sick and has missed multiple periods and has not even provided the most basic necessities that a woman's, uh, you know, by law is, is supposed to get, I think that uh, that you could do a lot. I think if they don't let you in the prison, you could protest out, outside the prison, and that would bring the time media. And then, you know, you create another firestorm it really is just a matter of do you have the will because if you have the will then you will find a way just like i will make sure that ashley goes free it doesn't really matter how you know how that happens regardless of what i have to do it's it's it will happen because for me i have nothing else to lose but i understand other people you have different things to report on or other things going on in your life or you don't even know ashley Okay, but of course, for me, it's it's different. But, um, you know, you don't have to, to know Ashley and you don't have to be Ukrainian to be willing to take a stand against evil and against things that are not correct. Because if you don't, then eventually one day it's true. You will wake up and it won't be in Ukraine or it won't be happening to some girl named Ashley that you don't know. It'll be happening directly to you or someone you know. And then when you ask for help, who will come? If you refuse to help others, then how could you ask for others to help you? You know, so um, I think that I, I think honestly, I think you guys could have already had Ashley out um, truly. But, you know, I understand the capitalist nature and the uh, the fickleness of the world and how short its attention span is, which is why I'm continuing to work to prepare for um, the the operations which will make Ashley's flame burn so brightly that the world will no longer be able to ignore it. Um, but I think that you certainly could get a visit. I think you could do pretty much anything. It's really just a matter of if you want to bad enough. Last question, number 10. According to the Justice Department, which we confirmed yesterday, there is no extradition treaty from Thailand to South Africa. What is the plan? <laughs> This is done by Ashley's mother. Uh, Lizelle Martin already told Ashley's mother that this wasn't possible. Ashley's mother continues to act recklessly, independently, um, flailingly, distracting attention and resources away from her daughter and what could actually be used to help her in order to continue whatever her own demented and maddened, uh, imagined uh, reality that she continues to exist in by herself uh, while her daughter suffers with no money despite her telling multiple people that she was sending money. So, uh, you know, her mother is mm, not someone that should be any longer looked to uh, or asked about what is happening with Ashley's situation. Um, her mother should only be looked at as a trammel, an impediment, a hindrance, um, which is all that she has proven and continues to prove herself to be. Uh, as far as our plan, it's multifaceted and multi-pronged. Uh, again, I don't have any direct ties with anything. My only direct tie with Ashley is through Lizelle Martin, who keeps me informed as to the appeal process and the ongoing coalition, which is being formatted and configured by herself and others in order to bring attention to Ashley. Some of these different tentacles would be related to human rights lawyers in Germany who are putting in petitions with the Thai king who resides in Germany in order to to, uh, petition him for a royal pardon. We also have different avenues uh, with the South African embassy, with Durko, with the Thai, uh, the Thai, uh, the name escapes me. Um, we also have multiple NGOs and organizations that are involved and they are using their substantial resources and contacts in order to put things into play. And we've also had over 30 media articles and published pieces that have been done. There will be more on the way, especially when I come out with, um, with the next wave, uh, which will be in the next month. Um, again, I, I wasn't, I had to advance before I was ready because they took her away and tried to throw her away and she's already sick you know it's, it's, no one would know about this stuff i had to go faster than i want but um they're not it's not going to stay in it's really not uh, right now south africa knows and, and parts of thailand know um, but within the next three months the world will know um, and so the plan is to free ashley <laughs> that's the plan the plan is to free ashley uh, thank you all very much you have spent time energy consideration resources um, in ashley's fight 
you know, um, I understand a lot of people probably think very ill of me, which is completely justified from the position in which you sit. Uh, however, I would just adamantly proclaim my grand ambition in all of this is to, as quickly as possible, free Ash the West Heisen. And so um, I invite any and all good hearted people around the world uh, to unite in that effort with or without me um, to see uh, this, this young woman finally, finally made free. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, that's all.